Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borick. Please continue to subscribe down below or above on the easy to use widget to keep us growing to the goal of 300 or more as our next goal. This is going to be on the quick goalie swap of Philip Gustafson and Cam Talbot. The young Gustafson goes to be the backup for Marc Andre Fleury, gets to learn. Um, his toolage behind a Hall of Famer out there in Minnesota, so I think that's a huge gain for Gustafson, and I also think it's a huge gain for Cam Talbot to go to an Ottawa Senators team who made one of the biggest trades of the offseason getting Cat, and if he's with Tim Stutzla or with Drake Batherson slotted in there, uh, those players are going to do well together, whether uh, Stutzla or Norris is the center, either way, I think Cat's going to do well up there for Menton continues to develop. Uh, they have <clears throat> um, Joseph as well, who's an RFA that you would think is going to stick around. And obviously on defense, they got Shabbat, they got Brandstrom. So Artem Zub is an underrated defenseman. Now it's about just filling in the rest of that defense is that with their prospects, like the Hetherington, uh, Bernard Docker, we know will play. Is Sanderson ready to fully play it? Is Gounette going to be a guy? What is his um, upside? So there's different questions there for their defense, but their forward core is really coming together as one. And having Cam Talbot for one season, I think, is a smart move by the Ottawa Senators because they shipped out Matt Murray uh, with a third-round pick and a seventh so they could get rid of his cap hit and then immediately bring in a goaltender who's a very good value goaltender as well because is Cam Talbot necessarily a cup-winning goaltender? Maybe not, but also 277, 32 and 12, you can't scoff at that. That's freaking good as hell in 49 games to put up those numbers. So he's a very good B to B plus level goaltender and of great value at 3.67. So it seems like this is a wise move for both ends. If you're Ottawa and you're starting to try to progress and either make the playoffs as one of these extra teams next year or just miss and then make it the following year. You need to have more established goaltending. Anton Forsberg did very well last year for them, but they couldn't really go into the season with Gustafsson and Forsberg, two guys that are not fully proven at the NHL level. Now they have a guy that's got it done for years at the NHL level as a good, solid starter. And Anton Forsberg, who really emerged and proved himself as a backup level last year. So it's good for him to get rewarded for that as well. Now, when it comes to the Minnesota Wild, this seems like a very smart move from their end of things as well, because they have Marc-Andre Fleury, who they were able to sign for two more years, and now, on top of Marc-Andre Fleury, they're able to bring in a good young goaltender. Yes, he might have struggled in the NHL level still, but he's been good when he's been down in Belleville. He's still only 24 years of age, the big Swedish kid Gustafsson. Give him time. I think he's definitely sure as hell a backup at the NHL level. And we'll see if behind Flower, a Hall of Famer, over time developing, he can become more of a starter. But also at the same time, he doesn't have to because they have one of the best starting prospects that I talked about in past videos in Jesper Wallstadt. So he's going to become the starter for Minnesota at some point anyhow. So all Philippe Gustafson has to do is play very well and become a very good platoon piece which I think he definitely has the capabilities to do. So this is one of those rare trades. Typically, you talk about a side winning a trade. I think this is on the surface. You would probably say Ottawa won just because of the proven track record of Talbot. But I think this is a very even works out for both sides trade. You have to give this trade an A all around, I think, because Ottawa's getting their veteran goaltenders they're trying to improve upon and maybe even make the playoffs this year. And then... If you're Minnesota, you already have your veteran goaltender, you re-sign Flower, now you need a young kid to come in and be the backup for Flower and learn from Flower, and then you might be able to have a great young platoon with Gustafsson and Wallstead when Wallstead comes up, if it all works out with Gustafsson. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Please continue to subscribe down below or above on the easy-to-use widget to keep the channel growing to the next goal of 300 or more.